In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to add an account to your Authy two-factor authentication application. Now, I already have Authy installed from a previous video, so I'm going to continue to use this dummy account here. Now, I first want to say that if you did not create a backup password for your Authy account, then I highly recommend you stop this video and go watch my Authy installation video before you proceed. I also would like to say that if you are trying to restore your account, right, and you don't have a backup password, then I'm sorry, you're out of luck. There is no way to restore your account if you don't have your backup password. All right, okay, so now let's move forward. Here you see my actual phone. I have an application installed on my PC that gives me the ability to cast my phone to my computer. So I can dial and make calls, basically do anything that I want to do as if I was holding the device in my hand. All right. Now, to demonstrate how to add an account to Authy, I'm going to use my real GitHub account. I realize I never created one in the past, so I guess I'll do it now for you. Now, just to quickly explain a few things, every account that supports 2FA will be given a unique code, a random set of digits and characters, right? For instance, under my personal banking website, let's say Chase, for my Chase account, my two-factor authentication account will show them will be uh, linked to this code, right? And let's say I have an account with uh, Bank of America. The 2FA account for Bank of America will be linked to this code, right? So now, depending on what website you're trying to set up two-factor authentication for, that code will be different than what I have than from anybody else in the world, right? And it will be given to you in both text format and it will be given to you in QR code, All right? Now, let me demonstrate. Okay, so here we're gonna navigate to my security settings where I can set up two-factor authentication. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go to settings. Then we're going to go to, where is it? Account security. Okay, now, the location of where your 2FA settings are going to be, they're always going to be set up in this in the account security section. Uh, it may say security, it may say sec, it, it, it really depends on what website you're trying to set it up for. Now, in addition to that, because I get a lot of questions about this, how a website labels the two-factor authentication section, it may differ. For GitHub, it says two-factor authentication. For some websites, it may say 2FA. For uh, for instance, for KuCoin, let's go over to KuCoin really quick. For KuCoin, it says Google verification. Now you might assume that you can only you're only allowed to use a Google, the Google Authenticator, but that's not the case. The label does not matter, right? What matters is the technology, which is two-factor authentication. So you can use whichever application you want, right? In our case, we're using Authy. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click enable. We're setting up 2FA using an application, not via text message. So let's make sure that option is chosen. Now, here's that code that I was telling you about, right? They gave it to me in QR format and they also gave it to me in text format, right? So if I click this, it'll reveal the code. Here is a code that will be associated with my GitHub account. This is what's going to be used to sync my Authy account with my GitHub, right? Disable this. This is actually an older account. So let me just get rid of that there. Now, I highly recommend you use the QR code method. Don't try to enter this code manually because you run the risk of having typos and then your account will not be synced. Right, so now I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to scan this code, which will sync this GitHub account with my Authy account. Uh, uh, yeah, with my Authy application. Right, again, this code is embedded here. They make it, they set it up like this so it'd be easy for you to link your accounts. Right, so let's get it done. Now, to add an account in Authy, right, if you have no accounts, you're not going to see anything. What you're going to see is a, a a blue circle or a red circle with a plus sign 
So you can add an account hitting the plus sign or you can come up here by the three dots. In my case, I have to come up here and just hit add an account. Now Authy is going to give you two options of linking the account with Authy. You can scan the code or you can enter it manually. Again, I highly recommend you just scan the code. So let's hit scan code. Now I'm going to pick up my phone and I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to scan code. So you just line it up like so. All right. Now I'm going to label it. Let's label it GitHub Authy test. You want to give it a unique name so you can identify which account is which. I'm assuming you may end up having like 10 or 15 different accounts within Authy. Okay, so let's call it test123. All right, and I'm going to hit check, save. All right, now the last step, the last step, this is an important step. Every website, they're going to ask for you to enter the six digit code into the account to fully link them because right now they're not linked yet. So now I'm going to grab this code before it dies down. Hit enter. Okay, now I want to state something. For GitHub, for GitHub, right? They add additional layer of security. Now the reason why they're giving me these recovery codes is because in the event that I lose access to Authy and I can't remember my password for GitHub, I have these codes that I can enter into GitHub to get to regain access to my account. Not all websites do this. I want to make that very clear. So don't expect to see this right now. If you do, if, if, if the website you're trying to set up to a for does give you something like this, then you do not want to show anybody these codes. Okay. You want to write them down on a piece of paper and put them somewhere safe. You can download them very quickly. And once you download them, you save it offline. Do not save it on your phone. I'm going to repeat that because there have been many times where people have saved these codes on their phones or on their computers. The device gets hacked, somebody gains access to these codes, and then they're screwed. Right? So let's assume that I downloaded them. All right? Let's click cancel. And let's hit uh, save my codes. Now, 2FA is fully set up with my GitHub account. It's just that simple.